Hello everybody, I am the Craft Dracula creator and today I am sharing a process video for Craft Dracula episode 181. I created this personalised new home card for my classroom neighbour. The main techniques I use to are building a sentiment on a banner using alphabet stamps, ink blending, a piece of coloured cardstock to match my colour scheme and building a house with die cuts. The parameters can be seen on the screen. I love the green and gold for this card, very sophisticated. As mentioned previously, this card was made for my classroom neighbour. I used various craft techniques in my craft room at my craft desk and the light and dark green counts as my tone on tone. For this card, I will be using the Builder House die, wood green cardstock in white, textured green cardstock, and, although not shown here, the Spiffier Speckles paper in Nessie. All products mentioned are from Lawnfawn and links can be found in the description below. First things first, I needed to build my house. I die cut all of the parts off screen and here I show the assembly. While editing, I did notice that my ground floor window looked a little wonky, but thankfully this, is not, this did not show in the card. I attach a small piece of vellum behind each of the windows and the door using liquid glue. I love, love, love the new Spiffier Speckles from Lawn Fawn and I think the Nessie Green is my favourite. The gold splatters look so pretty. However, as much as I love it, the colour didn't quite match what I needed. So I used Distress Oxide in Evergreen Bell to make it a little darker and the gold still shines through. Creating a truly personalised card is made easy with alphabet stamps. I used Henry Junior ABCs. Here you can see me building the word onto the misty, lining each up letter up carefully as I go. I prepare my banner using an anti-static powder tool off screen and stamped using Versamark ink. Next, I pour Lawn Fawn Gold Embossing Powder over the sentiment and heat emboss. I repeat this step twice for two banners. Off screen, I die cut a frame in white wood grain cardstock and attach this to the green panel. While I add the banners, which I inked the edge of in matching Copic marker, with 3D frame squares, I will tell you about Craft Roulette. It is the ultimate YouTube card making game show on almost every Friday evening at 6.10pm Central Time in the US, 12.10am UK time. Mary Gunn, the intrepid hostess, spins the wheel. Four craft parameters are chosen. Guest crafters react, collect supplies and then spend a while crafting and chatting. It allows a great community of crafters from all over the world to get together via YouTube, the Craft Roulette Facebook page and the amazing craftroulette.live website. And if you would like to join in, you can make a card, take a photo and fill in the submission form on the craftroulette.live website. You have until the Sunday night of that weekend to do so. And for the show on the next Friday, you will be entered into the giveaway draw to win an amazing prize from one of the amazing sponsors. The finishing touch for this simple yet sophisticated card is adding gems to the banners and the doorknob. I think these little details really finish it off. Finally, we have a... Ta-da! 
I found this card very quick to make and I love how the design could be easily recreated for anyone moving into a new home. Since filming, my classroom neighbour has received it and she loved it. And it is not just going to be a card. On my suggestion, she has put it into a frame and added key hooks so it can be hung in the hallway of the house. Pretty and functional. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Ta-ta for now everyone. Take care and I will be back soon.